fire. Um, in Australia, the the guns, the gun situation, where mm -hmm. years ago it was it the the nineties, the Port the Arthur. United. You're talking about? Yeah. Yeah. yeah, yeah. But did that didn't people didn't backlash? Or, you know, or didn't there wasn't a backlash against that like there would be here? I think sure, right? Yeah. Why do you and think that's Australia, different? Well, I can tell you exactly. I mean, why. there's a bunch of you know outlaws traditionally in Australia. You know what I mean? That yeah, kind yeah, of mentality. Yeah. There's a stuff, romantic then. notion of Australia as this, um, you know, island, continent, nation of these Ned Kelly um, outlaws, blah, 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 blah. You're not like that? And then there's the reality, and it's a nation of sheep. And I'm not talking about animals. I'm talking about the people. Now, Australia's completely asleep. It's like an incredibly docile place, you know. But when we come to the States, or when I talk to people from the States, you know, often people say, oh, it's so weird, you know, you write this, you write all this uh, snog music um, about America, but you don't live in America, you know. And, and well, you know, there's a couple of responses to that. Well, actually, you know, we're on a globe, you know. But um, the truth is, actually, I'm often writing about Australia. And, um, you know, Australia is an incredibly docile place. Like, it's a politically and philosophically and culturally and artistically and spiritually, it's a black hole, to be honest with you. Um, uh, but I do choose to live there. Uh, I have the opportunity to live in other places, but I do choose to live there. It is my home. Um, but I feel like I have to be realistic about its um, shortcomings. Okay. Why do you think there wasn't uh, as big a... Oh, because everyone is... They're just, asleep. They're oh, okay with God it. For God's sakes, you could light their asses on fire and they would not notice. Yeah. 